I'm traveling all over Connecticut and southern New England, and we are in the mood for some really good Italian. Now, there's a lot of choices here in Connecticut, but we heard about this place in Manchester, known for amazing northern and southern Italian and Italian American. Trattoria Toscana. It's a family owned and operated restaurant. The chef trained in Milan, Italy, originally from the Hartford area. So it's locally owned and operated and we hear it is absolutely delicious. So our main goal is to provide an extremely fine dining experience food-wise, but in a relaxed, uh, family-friendly, uh, family-oriented environment. That's extraordinary. So we're going to go inside, check out the restaurant, cook with the chef, and have a good time here in Manchester at Trattoria Toscana. Hi, Jim. Michael Beer, chef and co-owner of uh, Trattoria Toscana here in Manchester. Pleasure to have you. I look forward to cooking some great food for you today. I'm looking forward to it. It's a pleasure to be here. We've heard so much about this restaurant, chef. So many people have told us we've got to come here and sample your food. And it smells delicious back here. you got a lot of stuff on the stove, a lot of things cooking. But what are you going to make for us right now? Today we're going to be doing a uh, cipino, which is a uh, Italian-American San Francisco stew. We add pasta dars to make it a pasta dish. makes it a little different. Um, but it's a great dish, one of our top sellers. All right, let's check it out. Let's watch you make it. Sounds good. All right, so I first started a really high-end California extra virgin olive oil, and then we saute some um, confit garlic. So we'll get that going. Then our anchovies could go in. Chili flake, Calabrian chili flake. Gives a little heat to the sauce. Fresh mussels and clams. Now our clams and mussels are opening up. We're gonna throw in some of our house-made pomodoro sauce, a little bit of butter. Now we'll add our shrimp and our domestic calamari. Just a little bit of fresh herbs, freshen it up. All right, chef, this looks amazing. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. Mm. Wow. That's extraordinary. Thank you. So when you designed this restaurant, let's talk about what you wanted to offer to people that perhaps didn't exist before. So our main goal is to provide an extremely fine dining experience food-wise, but in a relaxed, uh, family-friendly, uh, family-oriented environment. Um, and that was our main goal. And uh, I think uh, so far, I'm blessed to have a phenomenal staff who helps do that in the front of house as well as the back of house. You have an extraordinary background. Your family in restaurants for many years, so you've been trained early. You also have training back in Italy. Let's talk about some of the experiences you've had that have led you to this restaurant today. So I started out working uh, with my family. My grandparents owned a restaurant. Um, I worked with them for years. Um, then I decided to go to culinary school. I went to the French Culinary Institute in New York City. Um, I, from there, I went to Italy, studied in Parma. And then I worked in Milan for a chef by the name of Rotero Marchese who was the first Italian chef to achieve three Michelin stars. So the menu, we have a lot of incredible things in front of us here. Let's talk about the menu, mix of Northern and Southern, as well as Italian American dishes, right? Yep, some of my roots are Southern Italy. As I said, I studied in Northern Italy and um, been cooking Italian American food my whole life. So it's a blend of all of them, I believe. What I like too is also the atmosphere. It's very warm, it's welcoming. Uh, has a touch of elegance and class, but it's not pretentious or, or over the top or stuffy. Yeah, we want people to be able to come in and, like I said, enjoy great food, but without all the stuffiness of the white tablecloth restaurants, which are great too for, you know, I, I enjoyed eating them myself, but uh, we were just going for something a little different. Let's talk about the food we have here. I have my eye on this one too. What is this? So this is a short rib ragu we make in-house, as well as a uh, regatta gnocchi we also make in-house. How about this dish here? So this I've been eating since I was a child. It's uh, our homemade Italian sausage, which my grandfather started making 50 years ago, and it's the same recipe as the day he started, um, with uh, broccoli rabe, roasted garlic, some Calabrian chili flake, and olive oil. How about this one on the end? So those are one of our more popular apps. They're crispy Brussels sprouts, 
uh, tossed in a pesto aioli with uh, topped with a little Pecorino Romano cheese. What would you say to people who are watching right now, who I know it's hard to believe, might not have been here yet to your restaurant in Manchester? What would you say to welcome them here, Chef Mike? I would say if you want to have really authentic and great tasting food with made with the top and best quality ingredients, but in a really relaxed and comfor comfortable atmosphere, uh, come down and give us a try. But just come to Manchester in general. The food scene has been phenomenal here and it's, it's ever growing. Oh boy, I don't think I can eat anything else the rest of the day. I am stuffed. The food is so delicious and lots of it here at Trattoria Toscana in Manchester. You got the best of Northern Italian and Southern Italian and Italian American cuisine prepared with a lot of flair and a lot of love. Locally owned and operated and that means a lot. We're so happy to be here and it was delicious. That's my perspective. Connecticut, what is yours? Come here to Manchester and check out this fantastic restaurant. It is Trattoria Toscana. You're gonna love it.